Hey everybody, today I've got an 05 Silverado that's got rear drum brakes and it's got this huge retaining spring that runs down, up, and then over and connects to this spring. There's a special tool that clamps here and pulls it out. I'm going to show you a different way to do it. Let me get set up and we'll start taking and changing these rear brake shoes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take and pull this spring off and get this out of here and then we can pull the uh, the uh, parking brake adjuster slash adjuster out and then we'll tackle the spring let me get this out and we'll be right back okay so to get the spring out i usually just take a pair of diagonal cutters and you grab the spring and you pull on it and disengage it and it'll come right off and then that will come off and then this will come off All right, so here's a tip on doing these with that one spring. You want to do the brake shoes one at a time, okay? You're going to need a pair of rounded off 90 degree needle nose pliers. So you're going to come in here and you're going to grab that spring like so. You're going to use the axle as a lever point and you're just going to lift and pull it out. As you see, the brake shoe fell right out. Then you're going to put that back down, and also the adjuster fell out. Not a big deal. Now you need a rag, which of course I don't know what it up here's a rag. And you take and you put your grease on the contact points. And you go ahead and get your brand new shoe and you go ahead and install this shoe first i'm going to grab that spring and i'm going to pull it back i'm going to insert the new shoe where it's supposed to be and now i'm going to get the spring back in there we go springs back in so now that shoe that shoe is installed. It might not be the right up and down, but at least it's in there with the spring. So now we come over to this side. Same, we're gonna do basically the same thing. Let me put you back in the tripod. But this one here, you have the parking brake me mechanism that you gotta worry about, and I'll show you how to do that too. So once again, you take your hook and needle nose, put it in there, pry out on it, and then the shoe will drop out through the bottom, and then you can just let that go. Now on this one here, the shoes come with the, this whole mechanism. So you have to get the cable out of here. So what you do now is you push this up as far in as you can, like so. Then you can come over here to the equalizer rod and you can pull this cable out. Um, let me don't know if you're gonna be able to sit there or not there we go then you pull on this and you take that out and now you're gonna push that cable all the way like that so what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you all this slack here to get this out so now the next thing to do is usually this will be bent in like the other side was bent in I just take, uh, come on screen, come back live. This is usually bent in and in your way. Just go ahead and take your pair of um, diagonal cutters and pry that out. Push your spring forward. Oh, that spring's not gonna come forward. Pry, if you can get it to pry out. Yeah, this one's stuck. There, you get that loose. And there's like a little spring right here that you gotta push down. So you push everything down underneath that spring and then the shoe will pop out. So here's the new shoe with the mechanism. So what we have to do is we have to feed the cable up and the cable will go shoot down, push that spring and come up and then get locked. So that's what we're hoping to do here. 
I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. I don't have my cameraman here with me today. So then you slide your spring back in. But you also wanna keep your cable out. So you need to put your hand back in here to hold the cable while you fish it through. So where, how far are we? Yeah, we're right where we need to be. Sometimes it almost takes three hands to do this. Actually on the last one, I do believe, I just took the screwdriver and I pried the ball forward. There we go, I almost, I almost have it. Now just pry over and up. And of course I just bent the crap out of it, but that's all right. It will just bend right back Get up in there. It's pretty flimsy. and just bend that back. You can see it's it's pretty flimsy. Now that's reinstalled. So then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna feed the spring back up in there and push it as far as we can. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go back underneath and reconnect the parking brake cable now. See, can you all see? Yeah, so I'm gonna pull on this cable and go ahead and hook it back up. So there, that's reconnected. And so now we're gonna come back down here. Wipe this off. Get your grease. Paint your grease. And all the contact points. I'm going to flip this up and get it ready to go back in. Same thing, going to take our needle nose, our bent needle nose, pull this over, get the shoe installed. And the wheel cylinder here is going to push out, so you're going to have to push the uh, brake pad back in. Hooked up. Yes, we're still recording. Okay. So with the adjuster, I usually take the adjuster all the way apart. This one wasn't bad. Some of them are stuck. And I like to put just a tab of grease on the threads. And then go ahead and run that back in. I did spray all the parts down with brake clean already. These are pretty stained, so it's not a big deal. They're just stained. Run that back in. Okay. Also, this pops apart. I like to put a dab of grease on that. Put that back in there. So now this is ready to go back in. It goes just like, it goes like this. This engages in the parking brake lever. This sits on the shoe, and then this sets in the other brake. Uh, let me see if I can get you all 
closer. You might have to pry out on the brake shoe to get it in, but it will go. There's that. So now you have the actual adjuster that sits on that peg and sits there. Hook your spring and drop the camera. I usually take my hand, use my thumb, and help push myself in. There we go. There you go. That's how you get this big spring off. Um, I used to fight with these big springs, but then I learned that if you do one shoe at a time, you're much better. So now we just have to turn the drum and adjust the brake shoes back up. And I do believe that is on the wrong end. I'm gonna have to take this apart because this flat piece is supposed to be on the back side and the skinny piece is supposed to be on the front side. Here's another tip of the trade. Never take both sides apart. So now I can walk over to the other side and look and see. Yeah, it's supposed to have the small tang there and the big side there. So that's, that's number one rule. Only take one side apart at a time. So it's no big deal to fix this. All I'll have to do is just take my dikes, pop the spring back off, go ahead and pull one of the shoes. Let me just go ahead and get this adjuster out. Pull this back out, and then I can just take and turn this there. So now the big piece will be in the back. Go ahead and put the front piece in first. Push the pet shoe out a little bit, get that back in there. So now that's right. Put the adjuster arm back in on its peg. Spring is still here. Put the spring. Grab the adjuster. There we go. So now the adjuster will work. See, with that big piece that was there, the adjuster wouldn't work. So also too, I usually like to adjust the uh, drums up while it's off and you go clockwise on this one here to adjust the pat the shoes out and then you want to make sure that the shoe is lined up in here and lined up in here and then you can go ahead and put your drum see how that fell right on it's not an adjustment it's it's out quite a bit so Go ahead and adjust it up some more until it fits snug, maybe a little bit more. I still need to go resurface the drums. And after I resurface the drums, I'll do the final adjustment. But I like to do the adjustment before I put it all back together. So yeah, all righty now. All right, everybody. So there is an overview on how to install rear brake shoes on a 05 Chevrolet Silverado truck that has rear drum brakes. Um, there is a special tool. Lyle makes it. I don't have it. It'd probably help a lot of people out. But I still need to resurface the drums. Um, but uh, there you are. All right, everybody. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that in that corner there. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Please give me a thumbs down. If you don't like what I'm doing, please comment, like, and share.